Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil pressure sensor on this B207 petrol engine in my Saab. The oil pressure sensors are well known for leaking oil. This engine in the Vauxhall Opel range in Vectra C uh, and other models is also known as Z20NET uh, and the oil pressure sensor is the same and causes leaks just the same. So this is applicable to both and quite possibly other uh, variants of the, uh, of the i4 GM motor such as LSJ. The oil pressure sensor is located down here on the front left of the engine just down below, you can't see it at the moment, but down below the oil filter housing. Here's a close up, there's the sensor body, down here you see the uh, electrical connector, you'll also see that there's a, a harness bracket uh, that's right in the way, so we're going to have to remove that first. And for ease of access I'm also going to remove the uh, air delivery pipe to the throttle body. Removing the air delivery pipe is real easy with a 5 or 6 millimeter flat screwdriver or you could use a 7 millimeter uh, spanner or a socket. Undo the Jubilee clip at each end, no need to remove it all the way though. Use a little penetrating oil for lube if you, uh, if you need to and lift away the pipe. With the air delivery pipe out of the way Use a 10 millimeter socket. I'm using a quarter drive one because they're uh, small and easier to get into confined spaces. And loosen and remove one, two, three nuts that hold the bracket on. Also undo the clip that holds the bracket to the aircon pipe. To be more precise, the clip holds the aircon pipe to the bracket for uh, increased support. Then with a little bit of jiggery pokery, it should come off all three all three bolts. Now you can struggle on without uh, loosening the pass pipe from the pump but uh, I'm going to loosen it give it a good spray round with brake cleaner make sure there's no loose dirt that could get in and contaminate the system Loosen the pass pipe off with a 19 millimeter socket or spanner and lift out of the way. As you can see there, I'm just wrapping the end in some tissue. I don't want uh, any contamination getting in there if I can help because the uh, pass fluid is not filtered. Remove the electrical connector from the sensor and now the dog can see the rabbit. You can get in, use a 24 millimeter open-ended spanner and you'll be able to loosen off the sensor. Once you've undone it a, perhaps an eighth of a turn you should then be able to uh, bring it off the rest of the way by hand. You will lose a little bit of oil which will drip down your engine and onto your floor so put a tray underneath the car. It's not so easy to see once you've uh, got oil dripped out but as I started to undo this I could actually see that I had a wet patch here so that confirms to me that I did in fact have a leak. One of many probably. The old one has an adapter fitted to it where it screws into the engine here so we now need to separate the old one from the adapter so that we can reuse the adapter. If you've got a vise I'd suggest clamping the adapter in the vise and using a pair of pipe grips to grip the old uh, sensor or you could just do it on a flat surface. It shouldn't be too tight and indeed it wasn't. When you remove the sensor and the adapter from the engine Make sure that you recover this sealing ring between the adapter and the block. Soak some brake cleaner in a rag and then use that to clean up the sealing ring and the adapter. The sealing ring of course just goes back on there like so. 
the new sensor comes with a fresh copper washer and you can see the blue color which is a thread seal after allowing the adapter to dry after cleaning it with brake cleaner it now needs screwing on to the new sensor do it up nice and tight to ensure that you're getting some crush into the copper washer I can't be certain that the oil wasn't leaking past the adapter threads so I'm giving it a little hand, little hand with some PTFE tape do make sure to watch the very end there are some cyclone tips for putting the new sensor back into position with regard to oil tightness now return the sensor from whence it came once you've nipped it down with your pipe grips pull the harness bracket out of the way a little and tighten it down with your 24 millimeter open end remake the electrical connection finally don't forget to return your pass pipe to the pump if you uh, disconnected it clip the pass pipe back to the bracket you can always use a tie wrap if you broke the uh, original clip return the air delivery pipe to position tighten up the jubilee clips but make sure that the jubilee clip at the throttle body end is just tightened down hand tight don't be too ham fisted with it if you do them up too tight it can distort the throttle body which causes uh, throttle movement problems and uh, rough running and it can cause the uh, throttle to stick open which could cause your engine to run away it's probably not too much of an issue on these these are fairly well designed throttle bodies but it is an issue uh, that I have seen before on cars from the uh, 90s start your engine make sure that your oil pressure warning light on the dash behaves exactly as it should make sure it goes out within a few seconds of starting then with the engine idling have a look and a feel and just make sure that there are no no drips that you can detect and assuming that you can't see or feel any drips down there while the engine is running hey presto job is a good one if you've got any experience you can add put it in the comments section help out other viewers and i'll see you next time